how do we actually lower stress? Well, there are, it's not just food, it's lifestyle as well. So getting enough sleep, exercising lowers stress, being with friends and family actually can lower stress. I know that there's a lot of information coming out about, uh, you know, on the internet and on the media, just sort of in the social networks about magic pills and powders and things that can actually change your life. What I want to do is to tell you that it's time for us to actually take control of our own health by understanding our own body and understanding what it is that we actually love to eat and where the science is that can support the things that we should eat that can help us improve our immune systems and, and lower our inflammation and kind of contend with the world so that we can go back out and regain our lives and be and act more freely in ways that are actually just better for us even if we didn't have the pandemic we'd actually be able to live longer healthier better lives so that's one of the things that i want to share with you i'm really proud to share with you and here's here's sort of like one of my key messages there's no single superfood um, it's really the body that is actually superb uh, in terms of how it's reaction so i'm going to tell you about how the body responds so let's get started i talk about heart health and brain health is stress chronic stress which you know i've had as much as you guys really puts an undue burden on our health uh, one thing it does stress causes our adrenal glands which sit on top of our kidneys to release a lot of cortisol uh, it, it puts a demand on our heart our heart beats faster it also changes our microbiome it wrecks our blood vessels our circulation it screws up our stem cells and it lowers our immunity it causes us to be more inflamed so how do we actually lower stress well there are it's not just food it's lifestyle as well so getting enough sleep exercising lowers stress being with friends and family safely um a family by the way that you like uh actually can lower stress but i do want to tell you share with you some interesting stuff so um eating this can actually help you lower stress as well this is a bar of chocolate this is 86 percent chocolate anything over 80 will actually do it it's cacao dark chocolate i tell you I, I, it's this is Chocolate I helped to create with a friend of mine, Katrina Markov. Um, she has figured out somehow how to make really dark chocolate, completely smooth, not bitter at all. And I mean, it's with Vosges chocolate. Um, it's called a line of chocolate called Pure Plant. So research have actually studied healthy volunteers who are stressed out. And they uh, measured their blood in their urine to look for stress markers. And what they did is they gave them dark chocolate. Kind of like what I just showed you, um, dark chocolate to eat for a couple of weeks, two weeks. And they found that um, when they measured in the blood and in urine for people who they eat chocolate, the stress markers, eating chocolate lowered cortisol, um, lowered adrenaline, and lowered these stress markers um, uh, in their urine as well. And so high anxiety people can lower their stress markers by eating chocolate. Now what does chocolate do? It actually helps uh, also helps the gut bacteria, by the way. Um, also uh, improves brain function uh, and also really, really dark chocolate with cacao has fiber in it. So most people don't think about uh, chocolate, dark chocolate having fiber, but it actually does.